Fisher Contreras, I'm with Positive Images. I'm here today with Fernando Vargas, who is the youngest Olympic boxer. Fernando, can you tell us what your title is exactly? Well, just a couple, just about a month ago, I just finished winning the Olympic Festival and my second year in a row winning it. Um, right now, I'm ranked number one in the United States and to go to the Olympics, so I'm really looking forward to that right now. Yeah, well, that's really good. Can you tell us about your family background? Well, we come from, a, I come from a strong family, you know, my family, uh, my mom, my, my dad. Um, I have two little brothers and two, and two sisters. Um, you know, we're really close and that helps me a lot. Could you tell me where you're from and where did you grow up? Well, I, I was born and raised in Oxnard. Um, I've been living there all my life and I'm really looking forward to um, representing the United States in the Olympics, um, bring home a gold medal for Oxnard and my people. Could you tell me how you got started into boxing? Well, I was, since I was small, I've always been, I don't know, uh, I kind of didn't really back down from anybody. Um, I would always be fighting in the streets, being, you know, I don't know, since I was small, I've always been a roughneck, I guess you can say. Um, I started watching it on Channel Well, I was flipping through the channels one day, and um, I saw that there was amateur boxing, and when I saw that, I was, like, surprised, because I didn't know that there was boxing for kids. I thought there was, a, you know, you know, you had to be old or, like, you know, big or, you know, like Mike Tyson or something, but not, not like kids, like, you know, 14 or 15 or below. I was, like, surprised. And once I knew that there was a gym for boxing, I was there the next day. Could you tell me uh, who your role models were when you were growing up, and who are they now? I, I've had a lot of role models. Um, I think um, Julio Cesar Chavez was one of my biggest role models while I was growing up, and I and he was in his prime. Um, looking up to everybody, um, I have, you know, like Oscar De La Hoya is one of uh, the fighters I look up to but because of the fact he won a gold medal in the Olympics, and that's my future goal. What advice do you give to other aspiring boxers uh, how to begin their career in boxing? Well, um, to all the boxers out there, you know, that are coming up and are barely, you know, you know, you guys are getting there, well, just keep on training hard, um, put 100% every day. Um, you're not always going to feel 100% there all the time, but, you know, as long as you're there, you can take care of business like that. Could you tell us the importance of education in your life right now? Well, right now I'm thinking about boxing, but um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm still a senior in high school. I plan to go to college because I need, you know, I don't think boxing is gonna you know be there all my life you know and you never know what can happen on the road up um, I want to have something to fall back on um, go to college after high school and um, that's what I'm looking forward to what other hobbies uh, do you do or what other community activities are you involved in well um, whenever they call me to go anywhere to um, talk to kids I try to do that you know I, um, I think giving back to the community is a lot um, is a good thing to do because I mean you come from there and you can't forget where you come from, especially on the road up. Um, I do a lot of, um, my main hobby, you know, is just kicking back when I when I don't have anything to do and with my friends and having fun. Fernando, how does boxing lend to the positive images of Latinos? Well, I think it, it contributes a lot because um, we're doing something good, um, training hard and not being in the streets. I mean, sometimes they stereotype Mexicans, you know, as um, gang members, which is not always true. Um, we are right now a positive image, and uh, being boxers and, I mean, accomplishing something in your life, which, you know, is a goal to set for yourself, is, to me, you know, one of the great things about boxing, and I think that helps a lot for Mexican Americans, Mexicans, you know, in general. But what is motivate? What uh, part of motivation um, is your key success, and and what keeps you going to achieve? I think the support, um, support from the people, my people, um, just support you and be there 100%. Um, through the way, it gives me that willpower and to train harder and to come out of explosive my next fight. Um, I think that's what makes fighters be fighters. You know, once you get that support from the people, you don't want to let nobody down. So you want to, you know, for yourself and for your people, you want to bring it on. Is there a special message you can send out to our viewers who are watching this right now? Well, mainly that um, boxing is, doesn't always have to be the thing that you want to be su successful in. I mean, school is one thing that you could put your mind to and um, focus on and be a role model in that way. I mean, you know I mean? Okay. Trying to be somebody in your life instead of being in the streets and with gangs and drugs is, is, a, lot, is a better thing for you in your life. That's a very good message, thank you. This is Tisha Contreras with Positive Images and we'll be right back with more. Stay tuned.